Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your username and even your profile picture if you want in Windows 11. Okay, so basically, I will show you how to change your username or even your full name as well as your profile picture if you want in Windows 11. So, just to show you. This is a picture of my PC that I took when I was about to restart or to start the PC. Okay, so when you boot your PC or when you restart your PC, the name that shows up on your screen is actually your full username. And also, as you can see, I have a profile picture here and I can actually change this profile picture. Okay. If I want, I could delete it if I want. And I can also change the username to whatever name that I want. And that is what this video is all about. Okay. So without much ado, let me show you how. Now, to view your username in, you simply, I mean, in on your PC, you simply have to come and click on the Windows icon here. Or you click on the search menu, whichever one. Windows icon or the search menu, and you simply search for control panel. So the control panel app is already here. You simply double click on it. And then when you come over here, where is written view by, make sure you select category. And then over here, you have user accounts. Okay. So under user accounts, simply click on change account type now when you click on change account type you will see first of all your user account so in my case my user account is sandong minupun so this is my full username and this is the name that i showed you earlier on okay so and uh, if i should click on this my user account here you see that we have just two options. We have what change the account type and also manage uh, another account. At first, when you click on your user account, you would see at first there used to be something like change account name and other stuff. But now we just have two options. If I should click on change the account type, I'll either have the option to choose standard or administrator account type. So this is how limited I am right now, or this is how limited the process is. But I will show you actually a method of changing your username, but it's just to remind you that this method is no longer working. Okay, the method of just coming over here to, and then, I mean, clicking on your user account and then changing the account name directly it's no longer working you see so i'll show you another method okay but just i was just doing this to show you where your user account is actually located so this is your user account here now if i should close this i could just minimize it okay and now if i should uh, press and hold the windows key and r to open the run prompt or whatever yeah windows plus r the letter R, Windows key plus R. This is the Windows key here on your keyboard. You press on the Windows key and then the letter R. Now this opens the run prompt. And within the run prompt, simply type this word here. Net N E T uh, P L W I Z. Then you click on OK. When you finish typing, you just click on type it and then sorry click on ok now when you click on ok it opens your user accounts directly now over here if i should come and click on select your user account you see that in my case i just have one user account okay i just have one user account and uh but in your case you may have several user accounts okay so i'm the only user of this pc so if i should click on properties 
you will realize that uh, I have my user name here, okay, which I can actually change to whatever that I want. So this is my username here, let me put it. So I just changed it, it was minunkun1, I removed the one and then left it as minunkun. Okay, let me make this capital, sorry. So this is minunkun, this is my username here. And then, uh, like I told you, the name that shows on your screen, whenever you are about to restart, or to boot your computer is the full name of your Microsoft account. It's not actually your username that shows up there. It's your full name. Okay. So uh, over here, unfortunately, you cannot change your full name here because this full name is actually the name from your Outlook account. So you can only change your username, but when you change your username, your username will not show up. You can you can choose to edit your full name here. For instance, if we say Minunkun, I can remove one you. I can do whatever name that I want to write here. However, the changes will not be applied. If you edit your full name here, the changes will not be applied because the name that shows here is actually your name in your Microsoft Outlook account of your Microsoft account. This is a full name of your Microsoft account. So changing this will not change the name that shows up on your screen. But this name here is your username. And changing the username will also change the name that shows up on your screen because the name that shows up on your screen whenever you are about to start or restart your PC is the full name and not the username. So, sorry. However, you like I said, for the username, you can change it. Okay, so I can change the username, but it's not going to affect any change on the name that shows up on the screen, but that is not your full name. This name here, I can also edit it, but the changes will not even be applied because this name comes from my Microsoft account and not uh, just my user account locally. So if I want to change this name, then I have to change it on my Microsoft account. So, after you've made the changes here, especially you, you can change the username here. Okay, just change the username, but the full name, like I told you, I will show you how you do that later on. The full name or the name that shows up on your screen, that one I will show you later on. But now let's focus on the username. So, for the username, it's right here, you can change it. And after you finish with your changes, you simply click on apply and then click on OK. Now, when you click on OK, you also click on OK. All right. Usually after doing this, you have to restart your PC, but since it's your username, there is no problem. If I had changed my full name, then I, I would have had to restart my PC or something. But usually after you change your username or your full name, you have to restart your PC. Okay, but let's move on to how you can change your full name so that the name that shows up on your screen, as I told you, this is your full name. So if you want this full name to change, then I have to show you because this full name is not a username. Why we change the username? So to change this full name, let me show you how you can do that. So that anytime you restart your PC, it will show that name will show up here. And even your profile picture too, I'll show you how you can also change it if you want. So let me minimize this. So basically to change your username, the full name, you will have to come to uh, Microsoft Outlook. Okay. So you come to Outlook here, Outlook. Just go to Outlook.com. Then hit Enter. Now, please make sure when you go to Outlook, like I showed you on your control panel, make sure you enter this name here, the name that usually, uh, the name that you use to set up your Microsoft account when you were, when you started your PC or when you 
started your windows right the windows this is the name that you use this is the outlook account so any changes that you change on the outlook account are going to reflect on your pc I mean if you change the profile picture of your outlook account it will show up here if you change the username it will also show up here so and you just go to outlook okay click on sign in and then in my case, minukum at outlook.com. This is the email here that I showed you. It's the same, minukum at outlook.com. So you type it and then you click on next. Then you enter your password and then you sign in. I don't want to save my, I don't want to stay signed in. So I'll say no. And I'll log into my Outlook account online. Okay. So once you log into your Outlook account, like I told you, this is my Outlook profile picture, as you can see. So come and click on the Outlook profile picture here. And then you click on my profile. Now, notice that when I click on my profile, I have the possibility, I'm sorry, my PC is in French. So they are saying, change the photo. I can change my profile picture here by simply clicking on change profile picture and for example if i click here i can simply click on this uh, menu here and I, or I can delete it and i can do whatever so this is how you can change your profile picture once you change this picture here the picture that shows up on over here on your PC, when you are restarting or starting your PC, it will also change automatically. Now, to change the name, you simply have to click on, you see that we have modify name, in French, modify le nom. So you click on modify name here. And then you can simply change your name. So if you want the name that shows up there to be maybe Eric, Eric, uh, Eric, 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 uh, Emmanuel. So you write Eric here as your first name and then Emmanuel here. So if that is the name you want to appear on your screen each time. Okay, whatever, if you want it to be Kojo, Ama, then you write Kojo here, Ama here. If you want it to be, let's say, Mohammed, then you put Mohammed here and put Ali here if you want. So you just put your first and second name the names that you want to always appear on the screen your usernames your full name actually and then you type in this character here so you make sure you copy the same characters that show up here so s capital s x small y r uh, p r so just type whatever that is here make sure you do your changes change your name as you want and then you click on save okay so let's assume a sound on menu then just click on save for me i'm not interested in changing my name so i'll not do that but once you do the change you just click on save and then after which you close all the windows and then you restart your pc after restarting your pc you would notice that your username and the profile picture will also change thank you so much for watching and please subscribe bye